Hi guys, this is Luis from World Sketching Tour. Today on this video I'm going to show you the work I did to do this sketch. It's going to be what I did step by step, the line, the watercolor. So if you want to see how I did this, come with me on this video. To do the sketch I will use my big friend, uh, the big pen. I will start for what is the biggest part of my sketch by drawing the fountain. a little here so when I'm doing the watercolor I know when I'm gonna add more ink and less ink there is a kind of a bench here poking out and I'm gonna not ignore it, I'm gonna assume that I want that bench because it's what makes this as well interesting. still need to put here the statues. I can actually go and draw the statues right away. I can measure the size of this pillar and try to connect and see, oh, okay, it goes this way. Not gonna add a lot of details. That's not the point, it's so small. Nobody really is gonna understand what it is. With all the set, we have our foreground. And now I'm going to draw the main facade of this building. And to do that, I can again use the measurements that I had before and draw. And here, not so much details. We just want to give the impression, not the whole details. It's very tempting to draw a lot of details but we're gonna try to avoid them. To do these trees I'm gonna just do etching a lot because I want I want them quite expressive and dark so I'm gonna do some etching in these trees at this size now I'm gonna draw the branches that I kind of see coming from there and I can then when I paint, give more impression of it. So that's, that's okay for now. Now I'm gonna connect here this part, which is where the building should go. tree coming
I still have a man walking, so I'm gonna draw that person walking here. Now I'm gonna add the cars. To draw the cars, I'm just gonna draw the shape of them on top and then I just add the windows. Just give a bit of the impression of what it is. It's getting already with a lot of information here, so I need to also be careful to not overdo stuff. gonna draw the part where I can see all those verandas and the bottom also has some windows so I'm gonna draw them And last, the little house that it's poking on the top. Just one last part that I also think that is going to bring some perspective to this area. It's to add the floor. Sometimes a little line is going to totally change. It feels like it's floating this floor. But once I draw something like this, Then we have a floor. Before we didn't have to paint. I will probably gonna try to make as close as what it is in the in that day. I'm going to use a Raphael brush, flat one, to start doing the sky and the first washes. So I'm gonna start by just wash a bit the sky with clean water. I left this part here on purpose so it can stand out and let's see how it shows in, in the in the future but for me I do like how the sky is so let's move on for this part here the vegetation at this stage I'm using a lot more water then pigment if this happens to you it's because my hands were greasy and so the water it's not the watercolor is not grabbing it's totally normal just clean your hands before you actually draw next time you're gonna draw so now for the second part of the sketch I'm gonna use a pintle water brush to paint the rest and give a bit more strong colors I also think that the roofs need more contrast, so I'm going to use that to make it more alive. This part here of the building needs to get a bit dark, so you feel that something is going on on top. So normally I have a lot more ink on the front than in the back. So what I do is I press here and this part of the brush I try to bring it up 
so more or less like this it's kind of almost smudging the bottom I'm gonna add some darkness to the floor so it brings more depth. I decided to put more darkness on the right side so this would contrast the background and the foreground better and make the depth that the sketch was needed. Also when I decided to paint the guy, it felt really that it popped out and made a huge difference when I painted because the guy kind of stick it up next to the front and the building went way in the back. floor I think it needs a little bit more contrast too so I'm gonna just add a, a slight color of purple just to bring a little bit more darkness and this is the final sketch I hope you enjoy it and if you like this kind of content tell me in the comments below see you in the next one